शॉर्ट टर्म इन्वेस्टमेंट रिप्रेजेंट टेम्परेरी स्टोरेज ऑफ फंड आर नॉट नेसेसरली यूज बाय अ फर्म इन इट्स रूटीन बिजनेस ऑपरेशन इफ a substantial part of a company's working capital is invested or placed in long term portfolios then it is much desirable to handle such portfolio separately from the portfolio of working capital items short term working capital generally consists of short term portfolio investments that are highly liquid less risky and shorter in maturity than other types of investments these type of short term investments generally include government securities short term bank acceptances and other such type of corporate obligations so what are the short term investment instruments in fact these short term investments instruments vary in amount of investment from one firm to an other subject to certain conditions like firm's risk tolerance level and the need frequency of the firm of such funds by the firms so now how to compute yields on short term investments instruments like t bills are issued at a discount but payable at their face value back at the time of their maturity so there emerges a concept of discount interest on these uh, uh, t bills as a yield now this discount interest is basically the difference between their face value and their purchase price there are two types of rates that are quoted on such type of instruments the first is the nominal interest rate this nominal interest rate is based on the face value of the instrument the second is the yield return and that return is basically earned on an investment while holding this investment till its maturity to analyze the return on these investments this yield needs to be analyzed so there are three types of yields we can determine in these types of instruments like yield on money market which is basically the discount interest divided by the purchase price and this and this return is then analyzed by dividing the uh, 360 days over the maturity period of the security then we have yield bond equivalent uh, uh, this is computed by Uh, dividing the discount interest over the purchase price and then we need to analyze it in the similar fashion we can also compute the yield on discount basis to determine uh, to understand these yields we have an example like for 91 days 100000 uh, us dollar t bills sold at a discount rate of 7.91% we need to compute money market and bond equivalent yield now to determine these these yields first we need to determine the purchase price that we determine which is 0.98 million net of the interest uh the yield on this money market instrument is 8.07% and if we use this data to to, to determine the yield as bond equivalent it comes to 8.18% so we can compare these yields with reference to the taste of the investor what type of investments risk an investor can face there are several type of risk that an investor can face like credit or default risk may market or interest rate risk liquidity risk and foreign exchange risk the risk attributes of these type of risk are basically the conditions that contribute towards the given type of risk so how a safety measure can be adopted by the investor against these risks the steps the security measures are the steps that investors may take to prevent losses from the risk they may avoid the risk or they may uh, sh shift the risk to someone other the possibility of short term maturities to ensure our securities quicker mature uh, maturity 
uh, allows investors to shift funds to a safer type of investment. There are certain types of short-term investment strategies like passive strategy. This type of strategy that is characterized characterized by one or two decisions, two decision rules for making daily maturities, uh, daily uh, investment. So there is no long list of decisions involved in this type of investment strategy. Uh, this type of investment strategy needs less aggressive than ac active strategy. It places top priority on safety and liquidity of the investment. There are possibility of reaping good returns if we have a reliable cash forecast. And if we combine active ma uh, matching strategy, then we can have the chances of enhancing on working portfolio yield without taking substantially the greater amount of risk. But the requirements of these uh, passive strategies are to regularly monitoring of the yield and the investment yield to be benchmarked against some set criteria like the T-bills rate. The second type of investment, st investment strategy is the active strategy. Uh, this active strategy requires daily and constant monitoring because there is a wider choice of investments involved with the uh, investment portfolio. Uh, it calls for more shopping, better forecast and a more flexible investment policy by the investor. Here we can have further three types of strategies to manage active strategy group. The first is the matching strategy. It is the most conservative type of strategy there where we matches the timings of the cash flows with the investment maturities. The second we have mismatching strategy. It is riskier and it needs much accurate and reliable forecast. Last we have the laddering strategy that entails scheduling maturities on a systematic basis within the investment portfolio such that the investments are spread evenly on the terms of the ladder. So how we can evaluate short term fund management strategies. The first we can use the tool of spreadsheet in order to compare effective yields and borrowing cost on the ongoing basis and to generate a uh, periodic performance uh, tables or reports as well. Then investment returns should be expressed as bond equivalent yield so that we can have some comparable data for investment evaluation process. This helps to make many investment alternatives comparable. The overall market portfolio return should be weighted according to the currency size of the investment. This means that the overall portfolio return should be uh, weighted in line with the uh, portfolio investment that carries the amount therein.